One of my favorite chapters from Don't Make the Black Kids Angry comes out of Chattanooga. The local paper there, they got to, you know, they finally, the editor said, listen, we've got to do something about this epic level of crime and violence in our town. So instead of uh, pretending that all the criminals were victims and all the victims were actually the criminals, they use, I forget the name of the model, but they, they model it after a town where you basically target the high crime people. You, you actually knock on their door and you go, hey, we know you're a bad guy, so either stop being a bad guy or go be a bad guy somewhere else because we are going to take you down. The paper was all fired up about it. And uh, it actually worked. They, they arrested like 33 people. And um, so, the, so the paper, they splashed it on the front page, the big story. It was kind of a victory lap, right? And you know, had all the pictures. So the paper said, okay, now we're going to go to the next level. We're going to have a community meeting to decide what we're going to do next. So the paper in Chattanooga has a big community meeting. 200 people are there. They thought they were going to stand up and get the uh, pre-applause for their Pulitzer Prize winning story. And uh, instead, they got a bunch of grief from uh, 200 black people who said, Listen, you said they were the worst of the worst. But everybody's black. Are you mean to tell me there's no white criminals in Chattanooga? paper kind of tucked its tail between their leg and got the hell out of there wondering what kind of town they live in where the criminals are more popular than the law-abiding citizens hi this is colin flaherty i'm the author of that aforementioned scintillating bestseller don't make the black kids angry here we talk about black mob violence black on white crime and the greatest hoax of our generation, the lie of black victimization, all without racism, without rancor, without apology. Well, Chattanooga has happened a couple times since then, where they do these big crime sweeps and everybody's black. Here's the latest example. 20 men who police had put innocent lives at risk are now off the streets of Charlotte thanks to a new task force. CMPD made the announcement today from this North Charlotte neighborhood where they said some of the violence between two groups has unfolded since early last year. These are individuals that had, had intent on hurting each other and at the, you know, as the escalation um, came to a head, they didn't care if innocent victims were in the way or not. Channel 9 was here just after Thanksgiving last year when police said these four men shot into a house while these three suspects, also facing charges, were inside. A neighbor who didn't want to be shown on camera showed us the bullet holes that still exist in his truck from the violence that erupted that early morning. Too many children around here. And we've been fortunate that nobody's gotten actually shot or killed. One of the men police said shot into the home, Antonio Rollins, is charged with murder. Police said hours after the shooting, he shot and killed a man at this car wash on Sunset Road. CMPD said cooperation from the community helped the task force make these arrests, as well as get nearly a dozen firearms off the streets, making Charlotte a little safer tonight. We've got to do a better job of coming together and speaking out. Here's some of the fellas from Chattanooga that I splashed on the cover of Don't Make the Black Kids Angry. Maybe maybe we'll find some use for the, uh, the, the photo collage of those angels from Charlotte in the near future. In the meantime, if you're down in Charlotte, you know what to do. Don't make the black kids angry.